हाई गाइज फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम टू नेवर एवर मिस एनी ऑफ माई क्रेजी अपडेट्स Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving this, the Mercedes AMG E63 S and the BMW M5. Now, obviously, I have vlogged on this car before at the track, so we are going to be talking about this, the BMW M5. And doesn't it look absolutely scintillating? But I think we should get rid of the Mercedes first, otherwise I'll be too distracted. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving this, which happens to be the sixth generation of the M5, the F90, and this is one of the key of the car, and this is the other key of the car. Now this one doesn't get the remote parking function, but it says M over here. Slide it up. You can set temperature. Basically, a lot of things can be done from this remote. But yeah, it's not very responsive as such. And uh, obviously, you can see the range. You can see the vehicle information. You can open and close the windows. But right away, let's open the engine bay of this car. So here we go. Now look at the finishing over there. Carbon fiber finishing. BMW M power M logo over here. And this is a massive engine. But I'll come to that in a bit. as you can see this car looks absolutely scintillating in fact i want to keep the hood up because it looks so beautiful with the hood up as well well that is bmw engineering for you anyways bmw logo over here the skid grill is finished in piano black you can see the intercooler over there it's kind of dirty a lot of birds or whatever anyways beautiful bumper you can see there's a lot of space to draw in air and to cool the engine as well as the turbochargers as well as the brakes of this car beautiful looking lights now obviously these lights are bmw adaptive leds and they give amazing throw at night front parking sensor this is the towing hook it doesn't get a headlamp washer but the bumper looks so beautiful i mean the presence is mind boggling the way this car squats down and sits is just something else in fact i was thinking the hood is open but it's not you can see the curves over here on the hood as well that also looks very nice on this car and on the side these 20 inch wheels which are finished in black look mind boggling in fact it gets the m logo over here look at the size of the brakes and the brake caliper which is finished in gold <laughs> doesn't it look mind boggling now the tire size up front is 275 35 20 and these are pirelli p0 tires meanwhile m5 written over here on the fender as well the attention to detail on the mirror just look at it all m cars have this mirror even the previous generation ones this is probably for aerodynamics and all the doors get passive entry function these are little wider tires at the rear 285 35 20s and the brake discs are just massive just look at the disc size isn't it maddening so is the brake caliper very big and huge this car looks absolutely scintillating in fact it doesn't get a sunroof or any sort of a panoramic roof because it gets a carbon fiber over here and a shark fin antenna here as well from the side just look at this vehicle regular size as a regular bmw 5 series but <laughs> this one is just so good to look at thanks to the addition from m the m parts and obviously the fact that this particular vehicle is one of the 400 launch edition ones for the m5 so the color is really nice it's a matte finish i don't know what is the real color name but i think it's something sort of a maroonish very subtle spoiler at the rear meanwhile m5 written over here bmw logo over here there is a reverse parking camera massive diffuser along with quad exhaust at the rear which by the way have been finished amazingly well rear parking sensors over here this is the reverse parking camera and this is the towing hook of this vehicle and i don't want to open it right now as you can see this m5 looks absolutely mind bogglingly awesome bmw i just love you i mean you make amazing cars to drive but you also make amazing cars to look at and that is something which makes me go round and round this vehicle all again as you can see the rear tail light is similar to the 5 series but it just looks so much better on the m5 with m5 written over here now let's quickly open the boot as you can see it gets hydraulics over here as well this is to lock the car this is to close the boot with one touch button now the boot area is a bit deep but it doesn't get any spare wheel now this is the toolkit over here and over here you can open this a uh, lot of stuff is lying there basically it is when you're filling fuel you have to ensure that you don't put lower octane fuel or probably you know all the nozzles fit in because this is actually a cbu vehicle so yeah 
there's a net over here as well like look at the depth you can add a lot of things in fact there's also a 12 volt charging socket over here or rather a 12 volt charging socket i'm eating my words that's how impressed i am by this vehicle jokes aside the doors open wide and large cup holders over here multiple cup holders m5 written over here and let's quickly get into the rear seat of this vehicle now there is decent amount of leg room knee room is also good and there's no scooped out seat back but there are magazine holders over here the seats are extremely comfortable you get a center armrest over here with cup holders as well yeah those are the cup holders meanwhile the attention to detail is massive can you see this the BMW M colors on the seat belts. Yeah, that's on every seat belt. In fact, the stitching on this leather is so beautiful. Double stitching. Just wow. It gets a screen over here as well as over here. And the seats are extremely comfortable. I mean, I can sit in this car for a real long time, but I don't want to sit at the rear seat, obviously, because this is an M car. But these are manually adjustable. So are these ones. So yeah, this isn't a 7 Series yet. You can see it gets three headrests at the rear. But the center tunnel is big enough you really cannot seat a middle passenger over here but the seat comfort is just mind-boggling it gets a four zone climate control system this is for the climate control ac it also gets a port for your headphone for using this screen obviously it gets twin 12 volt charging sockets over here and there is also a cd player over here well this is some crazy attention to detail ac vents are placed over here including on the b pillar as well and as you can see this screen gives you all the information which is on that screen now this isn't a touch screen unit turn it off like this turn it on like this you can see navigation communication media radio and almost everything other than the fact that you cannot turn off traction control setting here because that would be suicide for yourself and murder for the person who's driving the car beautiful ambient lighting over here the doors feel so solid this color works really well these are the speakers and i mean I can just keep touching it because look at the double stitching over here as well. So BMW has really upped the appeal of the cabin and the 5 Series itself is a very premium and rich and luxurious cabin. But this car is so sporty. So they've added sportiness in the mix and that is just phenomenal. Anyways, coming to the driver's seat or rather driver's side, you can see the door pockets are large enough. This is to open the boot. These are the controls for the power windows and it gets memory seats with two savings. Yeah, I don't know why I call savings. I don't know the word for it. Anyway, this is to lock or unlock the door. These are again the speakers and speakers over here as well. So this is to open the hood of the car. You can see the plenty of space over here on the footboard area and there's a dead pedal as well. Now over here you get space to keep stuff. There's some BMW document which might be secret so I will not read it right now. Anyways, you can see the seats are adjustable, massively adjustable. Under thigh support will never be a problem. Look at that. I want to increase the under thigh support and there you go, increased. <laughs> so you can also adjust the lumbar over here using all these buttons and the seat adjustment is just massive the seats are really very wide and these might look like a one-piece seat but they are not it gets a proper headrest yeah that's right it gets a proper headrest and that's the button to move it up and put it down and there's the m5 badging over there as well which doesn't hurt you at all it is done so well side bolsters are really very wide look at the double stitching over here red color beautiful in fact the stitching on the seat belt is just so amazing i want to lick it Okay, don't be amateur, Faisal. Concentrate. Sorry. <laughs> so you can see this car looks absolutely gorgeous. The seats are just amazing. So let's quickly get inside. Now, it isn't much of an effort to get inside the car. I am inside right now. But first, let me put this remote on charge. So there is wireless charging and the remote is on charge right now. This is the other key, which I've already shown you. Let me turn off the car right now. So I've turned it off. As you can see, the car is off. Let's get out. The seat pushes back, the steering raises up so that you can cleanly get out or easily get out. So let me turn on the car once again. This is the red start stop engine button. Press this and the car, car comes to life. So when you're exiting the car, it says mobile device in charging tray. Well, that's smart. Anyways, right now I am getting inside the car. So when I turn on this vehicle, it rose to life. It even tells you which seatbelt is on or not, how many people are in the car and stuff like that. This console is really very beautiful. And we'll come to that in a bit. As you can see, the dashboard is similar to the regular 5 Cs. Well, that's fine. That's not a problem. So M5 first edition 400 is written over here. Over here, we have space to keep knickknacks and it gets a USB port along with a 12 volt charging socket as well the glove box is large enough and because this car is so fast it also gets 3d glasses so you know you can wear them and drive so you know that 
you're actually not in reality that's how fast this vehicle is the attention to detail is massive look at the velvet finish on the roof as well as on the a pillars a multitude of airbags on this vehicle as you can see these are the controls for the headlight this is for the right parking light this is for the left parking light and this is the headlight leveler meanwhile this is for the rear fog light and the steering is so good to hold but unfortunately it doesn't get a flat bottom otherwise the steering is like very nice indeed in fact look at the finishing over here as well auto dimming inside rear view mirror over here we get a mirror as well as a light same is the case over here you get a mirror as well as a light and plenty of lights over here so press this button turn on both or press one button at a time to turn on one light at a time well that's simple anyways this screen is really very nice and you can see the center console doesn't look busy at all this is for the audio system a cd player and this is to go ahead or go back and this is for the climate control air conditioning it unfortunately doesn't get ventilated seats it gets heated seats which is not a very brilliant idea in this hot climate of india but this is a cbu anyways there's an ashtray over here and a lot of cigarettes i think yeah these are not mine but i think bmw ships these cars with these cigarettes <laughs> just kidding there's a cigarette lighter over here there's a usb plug over here and actually these are twin cup holders basically now over here these are the controls for the eye drive system and the finish on this is just beautiful like look at the finishing on this it is so nice and this is the parking brake this is for auto hold this is to get into the parking sensors now obviously it has these parking sensors which dance around if there's an obstacle and you can turn that off let me turn off the active exhaust so this is the button for the active exhaust and this is actually the setup of this vehicle so firstly this is to turn off traction control now let me turn off traction control when i do that it says m dynamic mode or mdm and you can see the 5 series is slipping all over the place and it says that basically 4 wheel drive is active but traction control is off well that's kind of risky anyways the most important thing which i need to tell you about are the modes so basically if i press the steering button i can choose between comfort sport or sport plus similarly if i press this suspension button which is basically for the chassis i can choose between comfort sport and sport plus same is the case with the engine as well i can decide if i want efficient sport or sport plus but the most important thing is this is the stop start button turn it off so that the car doesn't turn off when you come to a standstill but it also gets modes for the gearbox yeah that's right so basically these buttons will alter the speed of gear shifts yeah that's right and how much higher rpm does the car go to so if the red line is set at 7000 rpm if this is on one it will upshift at around 6500 if it's at two it will upshift at around 6750 and if it's at three it will upshift at almost 7000 rpm so when i press this button obviously i need to get into gear so you can see next to d there is one two three one two three so i can basically decide how fast i want the gear shifts that is so cool anyways the gear lever itself is very different so if i have to get into drive i slot it like this we are in drive if i want to get into sport i need to slot it once again i get into sport if i want to get into reverse i need to push it like that we get into reverse now this is the reverse parking camera it obviously gets adaptive guidelines and uh, the screen is very clear now let me get back into neutral we are in neutral now this is to engage parking brake well that's done and actually this is the parking brake this is to get into parking for the transmission as well so things are simple right but what are these two buttons these red buttons m1 and m2 basically you can program how you want the vehicle to behave in terms of various parameters all you need to do is press this button and bingo you are in m1 mode already everything is set to sport plus sport plus sport plus turn it off again and you are back into your regular driving mode now you can configure this m2 has been configured to murder setting basically when i'm in m2 everything will be to the extreme and it will turn off traction control it will turn off front wheel drive and it will be rear wheel drive only which is extremely risky so i keep this pressed and it says driving stabilization off you have to press once again to confirm because that's nothing which should be taken lightly so i am keeping this button pressed and dsc off two wheel drive active so keep it pressed and there it says dsc off two wheel drive everything in sport plus very dangerous do not try this at home trust me this is suicide murder whatever you want to call it do not do this ever in your life it is extremely scary and i'm not being a pussy but trust me it is very scary now obviously the regular affairs in a bmw 5 series there is beautiful maps communication media radio and all these things but we need to get into my vehicle right away so here we are there's something called as m setup now in m setup i can configure how i want the m1 and m2 buttons to behave so in m1 i want the dsc to be on obviously i don't want to kill myself and four wheel drive will always be active unless you turn off traction control four wheel drive will not deactivate so now i have turned off traction control now i can go into mx drive and go for four wheel drive sport or two wheel drive 
right now i just want to keep it into four wheel drive now let me turn on dsc because that is very important it also has an mdm mode which i already told you about now we have turned on the dsc now we can go into engine now there are three settings again efficient sport and sport plus so everything into sport plus including the chassis and the steering and the transmission as well so right now i've kept it into s3 it has six settings okay there is d1 d2 d3 s1 s2 s3 in d1 it is basically automated efficient and smooth in d2 it is again automated but dynamic in d3 it is automated sporty now when i put it into s1 s2 and s3 it will not upshift unless and until i do so yes that's right it will not upshift unless and until i do so so basically you have to be very quick with shifts so i put this into s3 right now for manual gear shifts now there's the heads up display setting as well there are two settings one is the m view and the other is the standard view so right now as you can see over here itself this is the m view and this is the standard view obviously it shows you navigation data it will show you what call you're making or what audio listening to over there in the heads up display but in m view oh my god it turns absolutely brilliant so press this m button and it shows you a formula one style tachometer over there along with the speedometer below and when you're coming near the red line it will show bars which are like building up so you know you have to upshift the gas that again is mind-bogglingly cool i absolutely love the heads up display on this car now plenty of information over here obviously standard bmw 5 series affair there's a clock below there's an odometer there's a trip meter and on the right most we have the temperature meter which is very important in a bmw m5 on the left most we have the fuel meter again that's very important in a bmw m5 along with the distance to empty over there again which is very important in a bmw m5 this is the beautiful tachometer m5 written over here on the left you have the speedometer which will show you the digital speed as well and when you turn on the car it just shows you a black screen with the m logo my goodness that is wow so these buttons now we know what they do these are the paddle shifters they are again very beautiful these are the controls for the audio these are the controls for the cruise control now this is the control for the wipers and you can see <laughs> The spray is so amazingly beautiful. How can a spray be amazingly beautiful? I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just falling in love with this car. Anyways, the wipers work well. Dual blade wipers. These are the controls for the headlights. Not really for the headlights, but more for the indicators and the high beam because the headlight controls are over here. So as you can see, the cabin actually looks kind of complex when you look at these buttons at the first glance, but things get very sorted once you get inside the menu and realize what exactly happens. Now, if I get into M X drive, I can decide that can only be set in DSC or mode which means that once traction control is off you can decide if you want four wheel drive sport or two wheel drive or how you want to kill yourself because it is absolutely scary now heads up display in m view obviously which i showed you right now how you can decide so that is again very cool let me turn that off right now and have the regular one you can also set driver profiles basically there are three settings and one for the guest as well basically when you turn it off so it will basically depending on the key you are using it will align the steering as well as the m settings as well as the seat according to your preference once you save it obviously now we get into vehicle status it gets tire pressure monitoring system again which is very important in a bmw m5 and technology in action is the coolest thing for f dynamics really who would want that in a bmw m5 but most importantly we need to check the sport displays and over here depending on how much accelerator input you're giving it will show you how much power and torque is being consumed in real time so again this is a very cool thing and this car is absolutely stunning i mean you can sit inside like a child and play all day long with all these modes because there are so many of them now let's quickly play some songs or rather one song and why am i using this i can just use this cool thing this is so cool so obviously it gets gesture controls which works very well for the volume but the rest don't work that well anyways it also gets bowers and wilkins sound system similar to ones we get in volvo cars and look at the finishing over here isn't that so beautiful as well i mean everything in this car is full of attention to detail you can keep looking and touching it all day long that's how good it is plenty of airbags in this vehicle and everything feels so nice so well put together and so amazing but honestly it is an m5 how is it to drive let's get going Right, we're all set to go which means turning off the air conditioning getting into m mode yeah the m1 mode everything is in sport plus right now and traction control is on left foot on the brake right foot on the actuator revving the motor and 
ऑफ वी गो माई गुडनेस दिस मोटर है सम सीरियस पंच ऑन ऑफर आई मीन इट एब्सोल्यूटली थ्रस्ट है हेड बिकॉज दैट इज अ लेवल ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस ऑन ऑफर नॉट दिस इज अ फोर पॉइंट फोर लीटर ट्विन टर्बो वी एड मोटर विच प्रोड्यूस सिक्स हंड्रेड हॉर्स पावर विच कम्स इन एट फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड आर पी एम एंड पीक्स एट सिक्स थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड आर पी एम दैट इज अ डिसेंटली वाइड पावर बैंड बट इट्स रियली द टॉक आउटपुट विच हैपन्स वी सेवन फिफ्टी न्यूटन मीटर्स विच कम्स इन एट अ लो एटीन हंड्रेड आर पी एम एंड पीक्स आउट एट फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड आर पी एम दस द मिड रेंज ऑफ दिस का इज एब्सोल्यूटली फिन नॉमिनली स्ट्रॉन्ग इट रियली पुल्स हार्ड एंड फास्ट एंड द थ्रस्ट फ्रॉम दिस मोटर इज सो गुड दैट आई कैंट टेल यू हाउ गुड इट इज बिकॉज यू हैव टू फील द वे दिस कार पुल्स इज एब्सोल्यूटली माइंड बॉगलिंग द थ्रस्ट फ्रॉम दिस मोटर आई मीन दिस इज हैविंग ट्विन टर्बोज बट ऑनेस्टली यू कैंट फील दैट इट हैज एनी टर्बो एट ऑल बिकॉज दिस नो टर्बो लाइक वॉट्स राइट फ्रॉम गेट गो गेट ऑन टू द थ्रॉटल एंड इट एब्सोल्यूटली फ्लाइज बिकॉज दैट इज द लेवल ऑफ थ्रस्ट ऑन ऑफर फ्रॉम द बी एम डब्ल्यू एम फाइव इट इज एब्सोल्यूटली सेंसेशनल दिस इंजन इज जस्ट समथिंग एल्स एनी गेयर एनी स्पीड गेट ऑन टू द थ्रॉटल एंड इट पुशेज यू पैक ऑन टू द सीट एंड टेक्स ऑफ इट्स द साउंड वेरी गुड इन फैक्ट एक्टिव एग्जॉस्ट आर टर्न ऑन राइट नाउ दैट साउंड इज ऑब्वियसली वेरी गुड बट देन देर फिक्स साउंड विच कम फ्रॉम द स्पीकर एज वेल टू एनहेंस दी ऑडियो एक्सपीरियंस एंड कंपेयर टू द ओल्डर एम फाइव येस दिस साउंड अ बिट टेम्ड बट देन turbo charging and better insulation means that it is not sounding as hard and fast as you would expect by the way it redlines at 7000 rpm yeah the redline comes in quite late and you can manually take control of things all i have to do is shift this paddle here once manual mode has been turned on now it will not upshift unless and until i do so and obviously it will hold on to a gear it will not downshift either so giving you complete control unless and until of course you reach speeds where and you definitely need a downshift so here you can see just look at the tachometer look at the lights between the tachometer and absolutely flies wow what an engine the way it redlines is so freaking sensational i mean there is power there is more power and there is just even more power tap the paddles any time and you can manually take control of things that's how this motor works it is just such a sensational engine great traction on offer almost all the given time thanks to four wheel drive so no matter how hard and fast you launch it there's almost always great amount of grunt on offer and the motor does sound well i mean it crackles and pops as well and especially when you rev the motor and on downshifts also it will rev match in order to make your ears go absolutely ballistic with an orgasm because that is the level of performance that's the level of thrust on offer from this v8 motor but bmw has done an absolute phenomenal nominal job because it just doesn't feel like a turbocharged motor it feels naturally aspirated there is punch throughout the revving there is not a single spot in this whole engine but there is no punch because it is there each and everywhere such is the level of performance now this doesn't get a dual clutch gearbox which was there in the previous car no 7 speed here instead it uses an 8 speed torque converter gearbox and it is absolutely ballistically quick with shifts i mean it gives you a shift whenever you want it down shift or up shift it's almost always there all the given time that is the speed of shifts over here yes that last minute of feedback and speed is in there all right let's get into m2 mode which i have actually programmed to have the dsc in sport and here we go revving the motor and off we are so obviously it gets launch control now it will not upshift unless and until i do so and every time it doesn't upshift it does a massive kick back as well so there's launch control on offer which gives it the best acceleration time 0 to 100 km per hour takes around 3.4 seconds which is ballistically quick 0 to 200 km per hour takes 11.1 seconds which again is ballistically quick and the top speed is 250 km per hour which by the way is limited now you can obviously increase the top speed to 305 km per hour with the m drivers package which costs around rupees 2 lakhs and you also get an m driver training voucher with that and this car's brakes are absolutely sensational now these are the optional carbon ceramic brakes which cost around rupees 8 9 lakhs yeah so they are extremely expensive but the performance is mind numbing somehow the ride quality is kind of on the horrible side because it crashes through the worst of roads you can feel almost everything inside the cabin and then there are rattles and squeaks as well because the ride quality is far from perfect low profile tire absolutely stiff vehicle and right now in sport plus mode everything is to the extreme it gets adaptive dampers the adaptive suspension means the right now in sport plus everything the springs and the dampers are really on the stiffer side which means that you can feel a lot inside and the car kind of feels fidgety on bad roads so yeah you have to give a lot of steering inputs unless and until you don't do that you know you really don't know where you're pointing it steering offers great amount of feel and feedback it's feelsome it's a rich in feedback 
Off we go, my God. So I was telling you about the steering wheel. It is pinpoint accurate. It is so freaking accurate. The car points in the direction you want it to. Now, of course, it gets four wheel drive, which means that it is heavier. Well, not really because of the carbon core structure of this vehicle, the use of aluminium and CFRP, which happens to be carbon fiber reinforced polymer, which by the way, reduces the weight of this vehicle. And this one actually gets a carbon fiber roof as well. So it is actually lighter than its predecessor in spite of the fact that it gets four wheel drive now, but still it weighs lesser than the F10 model. Now this is the F90 and they had to give it four wheel drive because otherwise this car just cannot put all its power down. Yes, so it goes all over the place eh? Yeah, with uh, obviously rear wheel drive only and it cannot channel all that power in rear wheel drive because it's just too much torque. So that mode is actually burnout mode, you know, get into rear wheel drive mode only and you can do burnout or on the track as well. It'll help you slide and stuff. Otherwise, obviously there's a lot of grip on offer. These tires offer great grip as well and the car remains very stable at high speed the handling is brilliant there's no body roll as such it's pinpoint accurate i just find it a little fidgety on bad roads otherwise yeah the steering is very feelsome and of course this is a great car to drive the m5 the fuel tank capacity is 68 liters and this car weighs 18 55 kgs so this one has actually 40 horsepower more than its predecessor which also used the same engine by the way but obviously they made a lot of tweaks to this engine to make it even better than before refinement wise it's great it sounds great in the top end it has good amount of low end punch it has good amount of mid-range punch it has good amount of top end but honestly it's a top end performance which is absolutely sensational red lines all the way to 7000 rpm the way this motor pulls is absolutely sensational no lag pure linear power delivery and keeps pulling relentlessly that is how this car works and that's such a joy to use any given speed get onto the throttle and bang it goes sounds nice but then i'm being fed some artificial sound as well and with a lighter weight not only compared to its predecessor but also compared to its nearest competition the mercedes e63 because this one weighs 135 kgs lesser than the merc and that's thanks to bmw's carbon core structure obviously gives it lightness but then you do skimp on some features here because you do miss out on a front parking camera as well as a sunroof but hey i will take carbon fiber any day every day so the mercedes in india we get the e63 is the s but we do not get the m5 competition yet and that really is the competition for this vehicle in the indian market because the e63 s obviously has more torque on offer more 100 newton meters but because of the weight both of them take the same time to go from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour which is 3.4 seconds and actually the time shaved by the mercedes e63 s compared to the bmw m5 is nil even at higher speeds however the m5 is actually faster than its predecessor by almost a second yeah almost a second actually 0.8 or so because that used to take around 4.2 seconds or so but there is no manual transmission option like it was there with its predecessor so the m5 is more comfortable easier to drive and easier to live with somehow however the competition actually takes 3.3 seconds to go from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour so yes it is the faster of the two due to lighter weight and obviously more power on offer as well now this car cost rupees 1.7 crores which might sound a lot but the level of performance and features comfort luxury handling and technology on offer makes it well worth it in fact this car seems quite value for money for what it offers because the performance is absolutely sensational yeah the handling is great but for our roads the ride is pathetic and it moves around so much that i mean yeah obviously this launch edition has 20 inch rims the non first four edition variants will get higher profile rubber or rather 19 inches not really higher profile as such but the ride is still going to be very much a handful because the car just moves around too much i mean the ride is really very stiff and i don't understand why bmw is actually given it stop start system and also given it efficient mode for the driving mode other than the fact it gets sport and sport plus in other modes like comfort sport sport plus for the suspension as well as the steering whereas the engine gets efficient sport and sport plus but that said if you really love a fast saloon and you want to take your family along there's nothing which beats the bmw m5 it is an absolute sensation what a machine i love it and absolutely adore how much fun it can be and of course how scary it can be as well because every time you get onto the throttle you are scared silly but still this is a car which has a dual characteristics which means that while you're driving it slowly it is so calm get onto the throttle it goes berserk <laughs> bye bye guys bye